Manil Kumar sharing with you a test question on relative velocity. The question is, a plane with air speed of 1000 km per hour wishes to fly to a city 2000 km away which is at a bearing of north 40 degrees west relative to its present position. There is a wind blowing from north 25 degrees at a speed of 100 km per hour. In what direction should the plane head? What is the ground speed of the plane? How long will the trip take? So let's try to sketch the scenario, right? So this is the north for us and uh, everything is happening in this quadrant too. So let me draw this a slightly bigger. Now we are given that the airplane with speed of 1000 km per hour wishes to fly to a city 2000 km away which is at a bearing of 40 degrees west of north right so let's say let's say this angle here is this angle here is 40 degrees west of north i have purposely taken it slightly bigger so that we could really work on the triangle being formed Okay, now we are also given that the wind is blowing from north 25 degrees east. So let's say this is 25 degrees, the wind is blowing in this direction. So on the plane, that is the head of the plane, it can be shown like this. As the wind, right? So clearly, the plane has to head towards this direction. Okay, so plane has to head towards this point. Okay, so not so good, but still, let's, let me just make it like, okay. So that is what you get. So what I'm saying here is this is 25 degrees. Now, since this is 25 degrees, we'll try to figure out the angles at this point. In that case, how much is that? 90 minus 25, right? So let's calculate. So we have 90 minus 25, which is equals to 65. Now, if you look at the pink line relative to wind velocity with the horizontal, it makes 65. So this is 65 degrees. Is it okay? Now the orange line here, this angle is equal to that, which is 50 degrees, correct? So this is 50 degrees. So in all, at that corner, let's call this point as O, let this be A and this be B. So what we get here is that the angle at A, which is OAB, is indeed equals to 65 degrees plus 50 degrees, which is 115 degrees right we know ab is 100 as far as the velocity is concerned and the plane velocity is given to us as 1000 so in a triangle we have a situation where sign law can be applied since we have a set of opposite side and the angle so we can actually solve this triangle using sign law so let's find the angle which is between the plane heading and final positioning. So this angle, let's call this angle as theta for example. So in that case sine theta over side opposite is 100 should be equal to sine of 115 degrees over 1000. And therefore, theta will be equals to sine inverse of 100 over this means divided by 10. So we can write this as sine 115 degrees over 10. Is it clear? So let's see this out. So we have sine of 115. We'll divide this by 10. And then we'll take sine inverse of our answer. It gives us. 
5.199 or 5.2 degrees. So we get this angle here as 5.2 degrees. Now once theta is 5.2, we can find the angle at B. So we can say what is the angle ABO equals to? ABO will be 180 degrees minus 5.2 degrees and minus 115 degrees, which is, let's calculate, 80 minus 5.2 minus 115 gives us 59.8. So this is 59.8 degrees. So the angle at B is 59.8 degrees. So we have actually solved our triangle. The question here is, in what direction should the plane head? Now to give this direction, it is a good idea to use angle from north, right? So, so let me write down this answer as here. How much is this angle? 40 minus 5.2, right? So it is 40 minus 5.2 degrees, which is 34.8 degrees, correct? You could explain this angle as from north, 34.8 degrees west. So that is the direction of plane heading. Perfect. What is the ground speed of the plane? So the ground speed, let's say this is VG, the orange line is the ground speed. To find the ground speed, we can actually use sine law. So, so VG, ground speed, over the angle opposite to this side is 59.8. Sine of 59.8 is equal to known speed of 1000 divided by sine of 115 degrees, correct? So VG is equal to 1000 times ratio of sine of 59.8 over sine of 115 degrees. So let's calculate this answer. So we get 1000 times sine of 59.8 and we'll divide this by sine of 115 degrees and that is equal to 953.6 kilometers per hour. Is it clear? So that is VG. Now the question here is, so what is the ground velocity? Let's write down. Ground velocity is the resultant velocity, 953.6 kilometers per hour. Clear? Now part C is how long will the trip take? Now since the city is 2000 kilometers away, so time taken will be distance of 2000 kilometers divided by the velocity of 953.6 divide so we have 2000 divided by 953.6 and that gives us 2.09 hours right so always convert that to minutes 0 0.09 times 60 is approximately 5.4 hours okay so we could say this approximately is 2 hours and 5 or 6 minutes. Is it okay? So that is how you could actually answer this question. I hope the concept is very clear. Understand how to make the vector diagram and then use sine law or cosine law as the case may be to solve and get the answer. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.